फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन जीरो ट्वेंटी सेकेंड अक्टूबर टू थाउजेंड एट दैट्स द डे वेन अ वेरी प्राउड मोमेंट फॉर इंडिया वॉज क्रिएटेड एज ऑन दिस वेरी डेट इंडिया लॉन्च इट्स फर्स्ट लूना प्रोब बाय इंडियन स्पेस रिसर्च ऑर्गेनाइजेशन चंद्रयान वन दिस मिशन बिकेम अ मेजर बूस्ट इन इंडिया स्पेस प्रोग्राम इन एवरी पॉसिबल वे The scientist who played a crucial role in this mission right from the conceptualization stage was none other than Alaru Selin Kiran Kumar a highly accomplished space scientist and engineer whose distinguished career spans over 4 decades in Indian space research organization in the satellite payload and applications domains his stint till date at ISRO can be called pathbreaking as you are aware in chandrayaan 1 though we did the mission much later than many others and lot number of probes had gone around the moon the real credit for discovering the processes for formation of oh molecule and water molecules the credit goes to chandrayaan now in chandrayaan 1 our mission itself lasted for about 9 to 10 months and then now what we have built in this is our own lander and rover so which can go on the surface of the moon and do observation more than that in the orbiter we also have systems spectrometer systems which actually cover wavelength up to 5 micron compared to 3 microns in chandrayaan 1 which gives better ability to actually study about the water presence of water and then come to a greater more accurate conclusions and also we will have opportunity to study the both spatial and temporal spread of presence of water and water molecules on the moon surface born on october 22nd 1952 in hassan karnataka mr kiran kumar is an alumnus of national college the esteemed educational institution of bangalore where he obtained his physics honors degree in 1971 msc electronics from bangalore university in 1973 and mtech degree in physical engineering with distinction from indian institute of science bangalore in 1975 immediately afterwards he began his scientific career with isro by joining space applications center in 1975 right from beginning i had the you can say the privilege of working on the most advanced technology imaging system starting with baskara in 1979 which we launched from our uh, baskara series of satellites and till the mars mission and later more than 50 electro optical imaging instruments with resolutions varying from 1 km to sub meter today we have a satellite which can give us 0.6 meter imaging system so it has been a very interesting experience in um, isro starting way back in 75 when just after the first launch of indian satellite aryabhata the, i got an opportunity to join isro also known as the architect behind the launch of 104 satellites in a single go and developing PSLV MK3 launch vehicle carrying 4 ton class of satellite in GEO he is responsible for the implementation of the applications oriented indian space program which has facilitated rapid development of the country in many important spheres so what we have been doing over the years is as we build our capability in launch vehicles or in the space technology any excess capacity that is available we are also trying to make use of it to get some returns for the same so it's in this context that we were looking at opportunities to accommodate more satellites along with our primary cartosat series on that day we had also put in our launch vehicle a set of cameras so that we could record each satellite release from the launch vehicle so on that night the we put this uh, video on the web and by morning 11 o'clock across the globe 104 countries and 1 and 1/2 lakh downloads had happened 
so this shows you the kind of interest and the kind of curiosity that existed about this event so this gives us a tremendous capability we are only the fifth nation in the world to have this kind of a cryogenic engine capability today mr kiran kumar was instrumental in evolving the successful strategy for steering the mars orbiter spacecraft towards planet mars as well as its mars orbit insertion we all know its success and the ensuing world admiration so the real task was to ensure that the satellite from the 5th of november to 24th of september went along the right track and had the right velocity and to be at the right place at the right time a man of simplicity who believes that true success means succeeding together and helping everyone succeed in achieving their goals and this reflects in his work as well my relation with mr as karun kumar chairman isro was uh, way back in 80s in irs one year time frame when we were started working i think we had a uh, very very good relations we had and uh, almost uh, the nights operations of the missions are concerned we have worked together in a longer time same thing continued mc of course and we go in set two year time frame it continued in 90s and uh, things went went uh, that way at chandrayaan again we worked together and we made the instruments for that coming and putting the things together and the science meets we worked together mars is another major milestone basically looking at our relation also is grown up like that just i'm indicating so mars again we worked uh, together and uh, to that what is the success a part of that and uh, he being a chairman i think a totally totally different uh, uh, dimension our relations have gone so mr as kiran kumar is simple but still he is uh, a put your thinking that your potential is more than what you do any time so that way the whole of isro's potential he has uh, uh, shown to them yes they can do much more than what they are capable of and uh, i think this is the one thing which will i think will be the burning uh, uh, a real light igniting the whole uh, of uh, israel in circumstance for his contribution to space science and technology he has been awarded with many prestigious awards and recognitions what i feel is um, is one of those uh, persons who right from day one assumed the charge of being in charge of many things even though he was not really the first person uh, in the hierarchy of uh, space application center but we always looked at kiran kumar as the person who can deliver the things and we always discussed with him on all things possible both in sub, uh, payload base, whatever he was uh, doing and also we had he was so familiar with many other things so we used to discuss with him on all and sundry in fact we used to call him dc to daylight is what we used to call because dc is uh, one one level of spectrum and uh, daylight is another level of spectrum so he used to uh, cover many of those things so uh, fluently and so uh, consciously and he always used to apply totally 100% of himself for anything and everything a person who appears to be so engrossed in science and research has also interesting memories to share from his childhood it's uh, always important to understand that as an individual you need to grow up taking interest in all aspects of life whether it is art culture sports or understanding the science and technology because life give, doesn't give you many opportunities so whatever opportunity you have you need to make the best use of it by involving yourself in all the different aspects so that's how we grew up taking interest in drama and i also used to do what is called ekapatra abhinaya means one act the show type of thing he was a very pleasant child he was grew up amongst a big family of brothers and sisters and cousins it was like a hostel the house was like a hostel we all grew up together cousins were there studying together with us and he we there were a big team we used to play all games possible inside the house they used to play boys used to play outside the house also and they used to play inside the house also along with us right from the younger days he was very good in his memory he had learnt by heart the amara kosha everybody used to appreciate him when he used to recite the whole 
Amarakosha. He used to enact the role of a Hanuman, tying a belt around his, uh, this one and jump, the I am Hanuman, he used to jump around as a small child. We all used to laugh at him when he said Hanuman. So now that he has uh, explored the uh, space, now it looks as if that is a, Hanuman is a, one of the prerana for him. Probably that attitude of him has earned laurels for him and he has earned a very good position in our family or in our relative circle. He has achieved the highest level. So he has really made, a, made the family proud, made the birthplace proud, made India proud. We are all really very happy about it. He is sure that our country has a great future in space research and activities. Right now we are just in the process of making our space infrastructure more and more capable and both for using the space for addressing problems in the country and in the global arena but also doing at the deep space research and also in terms of celestial objects, in terms of uh, you can say exploitation of asteroids or even in future if you are looking at habitation and colonization of uh, different planetary systems. In all these areas there is a tremendous future because we are among the few countries who have the end-to-end -end capabilities of building systems, launching and this capability. So there is a tremendous future for space activities in India. Such great minds truly make us believe that our nation is on the path of progress in terms of innovation and technology. And days are not far when we will be known as a superpower of the globe.